you're looking for affordable housing, a community organization is offering an opportunity for home ownership. The Legacy Community Development Corporation hosted an open house today, hosted open house today, excuse me, for two of its newest homes in Port Arthur. The homes are located in the 900 block of Stillwell Boulevard. If you're interested in buying one of these homes and you qualify, you could possibly receive down payment assistance from the city of Port Arthur for up to $40,000. The Legacy Community Development Corporation is a nonprofit that develops affordable housing and provides financial counseling to low to moderate income families in Southeast Texas. We work with families, low to moderate income families to help build generational wealth through home ownership. Uh, the primary goal of our program is to have education as well as financial education. For more information on the Legacy Community Development Corporation, newly built homes and see if you qualify, you can call the number on your screen. That's 409-832-2723. And also tonight, it was the final day for this year's Needleland Heritage Festival. So if you didn't make it out to the festival, you'll have to wait until it returns next year. The festival, which transforms Boston Avenue, included a parade, crawfish, torna crawfish tournament, I like that, live music, rides, a chili cook-off, your favorite festival food, and other activities that the whole family could enjoy. I just think it was very fun, like as a week, and like it gives you something to do for your spring break if you're not going on vacation or something like that. Heritage Festival is an overall W. Um, I'm just ready for the food, guys. They could have improved the music, though. Like get some more pop that we listen to nowadays instead of uh, 2016. I'm having the best time of my life. I'm stuck on this crawfish tournament, but proceeds from the event goes to helping people in the community, including students heading to college. They can apply for a Needle and Heritage Festival scholarship. Many churches in Southeast Texas are celebrating a holiday that focuses on food and helping those in need. This is my type of holiday. Today is St. Joseph Day. It honors the husband of Mary, St. Joseph, who was the legal father of Jesus. At our Mother of Mercy Catholic Church, they bless the traditional altar following their morning mass. The altar is filled with traditional foods such as bread, cookies, and other food items. Any food left over after honoring St. Joseph are distributed to the less fortunate. He is the patron saint of workers for social justice and for those that are in need in all different levels of life, but it especially to provide uh, housing, food, and funds as well to go out to those in the community. Now there's another feast day, feast day in honor of St. Joseph. It's celebrated on May 1st as the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker.